Hello! Today is 13th of uh, October and uh, this is around the Bordeaux. Uh, but it's very late in this season. There are first peaks on, on this peak, so very, very late. I think it's about two months later than usual. And I think it's because we have very, very dry summer. Uh, and this I was not expecting that uh, this can have so much impact on the time uh, uh, when the fruit are ripening but the second season confirmed that figs need water to have <laughs> fruit on time also water is needed uh, all, of course um, figs are very tough and can survive without water but fruits will be later this is my uh, no outcome my uh, uh, my results after this two very dry seasons and uh, I can show you also some over figs Peretta was amazing uh, last season but this season is let's say resting we have some fruits but um, uh, let's say it's resting we have some also very brave small plants something start happening here on the figs but still very slow and uh, these figs have a three and a half month old the, uh, the fruits are so very very a long time here if, even in zone 6 um, we have in Poland but we are in Poland but um, still not ready and I believe that it's because very very dry summer and uh, my uh, even my figs were not growing at all in the summer because of uh, so dry weather and uh, on the end of the um, summer we have first um, rain and uh, they started to grow uh, in the end of the summer to be honest and all this growth more you can see very strong nice growth was were uh, were started after the first rain after very dry summer so not typical weather here and impact on the fix are huge uh, some uh, fruits were lost because this dry summer but still it's starting to ripen some fruits uh, it, this is brown turkey uh, variety you can see some ripen figs still uh, breba was uh, delicious here and here we have uh, main crop but this main crop quality is also not so amazing it should be much better i believe uh, and the, the plant size it's also very small you know i'm pruned very he heavily so my figs are usually quite small but uh, this summer dry summer makes them a lot smaller than usual and uh, and you should know that it's i think seven years old now this fig so quite old and compacted small one so here we have young plant which was crazy and produced too many fruits and I'm not sure if they manage I don't think so because nothing really happened here now and in mid-October so our season is going to the end here and also they were pinched so they are three and a half month old and still it wasn't enough for this variety but it was really hot so I think the only excuse is no water but they are not ready now okay someone was asking about khaki so I show you also a khaki and mini kiwi uh, because and somebody was asking and worried that they are dropping the fruits very often but this my very small plant is holding them so i think that uh, here we can be successful 
they are still hard but quite nice size of this fruit I believe and uh, very nice color and this plant is very very tiny you, may, you see so little I have an overkaki without mm, fruits I can show you also here is another persimmon uh, tree a young one it was uh, flowering but uh, dropped the flowers so uh, much more focused on growth more healthy than the fruiting one of course and here we have actinidia already ripening uh, first fruit eaten a very very delicious fruit i really recommend very hardy uh, plant and uh, everywhere you can see that many of fruits really amazing plant and recommend you this variety sisai self-fertilizing plant very 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 nice but i have uh, here the water pipe so that's why it's not affected by this dry uh, dry summer it was lucky lucky one uh, with the water over my mini kiwi plants without the water uh, was not fruiting were flowering but uh, they dropped even the flowers because of dry so this season very very dry and I have also a very uh, sandy soil so it's not keeping moisture at all here that's why um, dry summer is difficult for the plants here okay the last I can show you some Mm, something special <laughs> I don't I'm not sure how is the name in English Pampas we say Pampas it's the grass uh, and it's flowering so beautifully and so big I think about three meters high oh I I can't oh, I oh, you can see how nice and big uh, this is amazing okay that's all I wanted to show you today it's a beautiful plant also without this beautiful flowers okay that's all for today let me know how was your season if anyone also struggling with for example dry like me because it wasn't my best season here because of this very dry period let me know how was your season bye bye